Here's how you can install an SSD in your computer. SSD stands for Solid State Drive. Let's talk about the history of the computer storage. The first thing which came was the floppy disk. Floppy disk was very slow and had very small capacity that the video you are actually looking at right now wasn't able to fit in it. Then came the hard disk, which had better performance than the floppy disk and had much more space. Hard disk made the computer very fast and easy to use. There was a lot of storage so that the video that you're looking right now could even be copied multiple times. But the drawback of hard disk was it was not that efficient. It had better performance than the floppy disk, but wasn't quite much improving the speed of the computer. Then came the SSDs. SSD is now used as a secondary storage device. It is faster than HD, almost 10 to 15 times faster, has better performance and storage. For example, if there was two gigs of storage you need to save in a hard drive, it would take around 15 to 20 minutes. But on SSD, this is very fast like in one to two minutes. Back to our topic. Now, how to install an SSD? Now, there are four main things you need to buy. The first thing is obviously an SSD, and I'm using BRYT 512 SATA SSD. The other thing you need to get is a SATA cable. In particular, I'm going to use the SATA 3 cable. The third thing you need to get is a power cable. This step is completely optional. If you don't want to use your previous hard drive, you don't need to buy another power cable. This is for the reason that you can easily use the hard disk cable so that you don't need to buy anything else except the SSD and the SATA cables. The fourth thing you need is a trusty screwdriver. This is crucial because you need to open and close something else. The first thing you need to do is to take off the front panel. Now for this, there might be two or three screws on the back of your PC. Unscrew those and gently pull off the front plate. This will expose the insides of the CPU. Don't get worried by the wires because in this video, we'll be doing it completely. Now, the other thing you need to know is to use the SATA cable. Now, choose the SATA connector like SATA 3, SATA 1, SATA 2 or SATA 4, which is rated on your cable, match that cable with the socket of the SATA cable. In my case, I'm using SATA 3, so I'm gonna use the SATA 3 connector. Now, there's a way to easily put this in. Take your SATA pin, align the L shape of the socket with the L shape of the SATA cable. The L shape is crucial because this would define how the SATA cable will go inside of the socket. If you do it other ways, don't push hard because this could damage the SATA connector as well as the SATA cable. Now take the other end of the SATA cable, align the L with the L of the SATA SSD. This should also pop right in. Don't push because this would damage the SSD as well as the SATA cable, which could end up in expensive damage. You can also add another power connector by using these sockets on the motherboard. This would be universal with any old PCs. Don't worry about it, you can easily get it. Now, I don't have that cable so that I can show you, but fortunately, I don't want the previous HDD. So what I'm gonna do is take the power cable off the hard disk and use it with the SSD. This is way easier and easy to use. If you don't want to use your hard disk power cable or you want to use your hard disk as a secondary storage device, you can easily use another power cable so that you cannot damage anything on the hard drive. Now for cable management of this power cable, you need to align the L shape of the power cable with the L shape of the SATA power connector. Again, it should pop right in. Don't push, it will damage it. After some trial and errors, you would be able to put it all together. Now, there must be a mount. The good thing about this SSDs is that you can easily pop right in 
to the computer, no damage. These are small and doesn't weigh very much. So this can easily be put inside the computer and will cause no damage. So voila, you have easily installed your SSD into your PC. Subscribe to Tech Talks and I will see you in the next one.